Are you quite competitive? Um, sometimes, depends yeah. on what it is. Prince Harry courting the limelight in the US. The Duke of Sussex giving an exclusive interview to Good Morning America. Don't make international news, OK? <laughs> He comes off the back of a flying visit to see his father last week after the King called Harry to tell him about his cancer diagnosis. I jumped on a plane and, and went to go and see him as soon as I could. Look, I, 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 love, I love my family. The fact, that I was, the fact that I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. Harry kept away from the cameras when he was in the UK and also from the Prince of Wales, leading to more speculation about strained relations between brothers. Harry hinted the King's condition could help. An illness in the family can have a galvanising or sort of reunifying effect for a family. Absolutely. Is that possible in this case? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, I've, throughout all these families, I see it on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, the, again, the, the strength of the, of the family unit coming together. Prince Harry and Meghan have been in Canada this week, marking a year countdown to the next Invictus Games. The Daredevil Duke braving the skeleton bobsled, reaching downhill speeds of 60 miles an hour, a pace Harry says he's used to with two young children. The kids are doing great. The kids are growing up like all kids do very, very fast. Um, they've both got an incredible sense of humour and you know, make us laugh and keep us grounded every single day like most, most kids do. So, um, yeah, I'm just very grateful to be a dad. Prince Harry says he and Meghan have focused on their own projects and their family. But could his latest courting of the US media be a slippery slope for Harry, away from patching things up with the royal family? Olivia Guthrie, ITV News.